Welcome to Lesson 2 in Amphibious Bagel's Neverwinter Nights 2 Electron Toolset Video Tutorial. If you are following along, then you should currently have Grinning Fool's Usability Tools and Code Poet's Spell Plug Toolset plugins already installed. In this portion of the tutorial, we will learn how to arrange our toolset workspace, know what the basic interface panels and buttons are, practice the community recommended save behaviors, and learn useful hotkeys and vocabulary as we go. Once you have the toolset open, you will notice that your toolset panels and buttons look different now than they did when we first opened the toolset in Lesson 1. This is due to the modifications made by our new plugins. At the top of your screen, you can find the normal program toolbar with such options as File, Edit, View, Plugins, Tools, and Help. Under the File options, you can create, open, or save files. You can also bake an area, which we will discuss in the Area Building tutorial. You can manage Player World content to be distributed online. And you also have options to run a module, which will create a copy of the module that you are working on now, but make it playable for you. You can also verify a module which basically runs through your module and collects any errors that it can find and reports them back to you in a new window. You can also compile. This is used for scripters to compile a script, which means it checks through it to find any errors and reports back whether it will work or not. You can also close a tab or exit the program completely. And below here, you can access your most recent modules. Under the View options, we can access the properties for our module, which we will use in Area Building. We can also open and edit journal entries. Let's go ahead and try this now. As you'll see, this opens a new tab in this largest window, which is called our View Panel. Going back to the View options, we can also edit Factions which as you can see in the new tab that has been opened in our view panel that we have such options as hostile, commoner, merchant, and defender. Other options under view include the option to edit 2DA files and for your reference a 2DA is a two-dimensional array file. These contain information with references to resources or settings specified for use in the module. As an example, I'll select Armor Visual Data and click OK. Again, it has opened a new tab in our view panel and presents us with a screen that looks similar to an Excel sheet. It also acts similar to one, as you can see here that it can sort columns. However, again, this is another thing that we shall cover in a different tutorial as 2DA editing can be quite complex. Also under View, we have the option to edit challenge ratings. You'll see that since I had interacted with the Armor Visual Data tab, it did not immediately open the challenge rating editor for me to see. So, going back to my view panel, I'll simply click on it, and this will bring me there. This is true of any tabs in this window. Simply click on them to access them. As you create more tabs, eventually they may run off of this panel, in which case you can access them by using these little arrows here to tab through them. If we'd like to close any of these tabs, simply select the one you'd like to close, such as Factions, and press the X here. Now you'll see that it's gone. We can do this with all of these. There all clean. Other options under the view panel include the ability to change our mode which is useful during area creation and will be discussed in a separate tutorial. We can also access our options for the tool set. This includes such abilities to change the graphics. As you can see here you can change the colors, some of the options for displays here in the view panel. You can also change the windows. So later, as we rearrange our windows, if you ever decide you need to return to the default menus, you can simply press reset by clicking it once and then click OK. Other options include the plugins menu, 
which as you'll notice allows us to see and select the options for all of the plugins we currently have installed. You can see here that I have installed some extra plugins since our last tutorial. Also under Tools, you'll notice that you have some special options. These were provided with Grinning Fool's usability tools.